All right, we set the plasma cutter to 45 amps. Still running on the generator. We'll see if it kills it. We'll try to make a little straighter cut this time. Kind of 45 amps, which is plenty to cut it. 40 amps was enough to cut it. 20 foot beams. I've made this first cut at six feet. That leaves me 14 feet to put in the ground. Three feet. I have three feet in the ground. That'll be leave me 11 feet above, which would be enough for the tractor to go under. The pitch that I want is a 312 pitch. So we'll do that here like this. I'll try to do this. So there's. Let's double check. Make sure that's the common scale will slide up to the 3 so I'll give us the 312 All right. it's going to be tricky to do but what I'm going to do is make sure that's right on the 3 and then we're going to slide this straight edge against the square like that Okay, so we'll double check we're still at three. There's the mark. Then I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to make a mark right there. And um, then we'll draw a line right here. It's back in the camera, sorry. Okay, we'll make another cut right there, and then all we'll have to do is draw a line between that cut and that cut, and that'll be our 312 pitch. Are my lines drawn between the two pieces, and then I'll set up this angle iron that's exactly a half inch away from the middle of that line and then I'll just run my torch right down that angle iron. So I found that from this outer edge of the nozzle here to the center is a half inch on this gun so I just measure it and then it turns out to be perfect. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Got it all butted up here. Watch out, girls! Watch out! And I just want to check my angles first. So I got it pretty close to butt it up together. Got a little groove ground there. My other grooves are not very great. So we're just going to set this here. Run it over to three on the common. And make sure this lines up with the slot. With the this may not come out well on the camera, but it looks like it lines up pretty well. So this side's a 312. We're going to flip it over and just make sure we didn't get too far off with this side. And there's the 312 right there. And it actually looks pretty good. The line lines up nicely. Okay. 
So I should have a 312 pitch on both sides. Good. We're going to get this tacked up and then burned in. Now there's going to be some overhang out the end, so I don't, I'm not too worried about that. That's not going to affect anything because I'm going to make, put my posts at 10 feet apart here and here, so I will have some overhang, and that's fine. I can cut that off later if I want to. So basically I just butt welded this together with several passes. There's a stringer pass down the gap, and then I made several uh, passes. This is a weave right here. Um, on the other side I did the same thing. Got a little crooked with that pass, but um, it's have a lot of metal there. Did it along the bottom as well. This might not come out, but there's a weave right there. And then on this side, just to reinforce it, I ground the weave pattern down some. Well, I did till it was flat from here to here. And then I welded this quarter inch plate right here all the way around. So I got a lot of undercut. Um, on some sides. So that'll help reinforce it side to side. Okay, let's get these others cut and then I'll get the middles cut and I'll have two more beams to start welding together. 